Hello everybody, welcome to this instruction video. This video I'd like to show you part 11 of Ubuntu. Ubuntu is a Scheepjes Crochet Along 2018 designed by Deidre Ice from Look at What I Made. In part 11 we're going to be making these beautiful flower corners. That's what we're doing in part 11 and we're also going to be filling out our border here with our main color. I'll take you through all the rounds that make up part 11 and as I do so I'll be using Scheepje Stonewashed XL and Riverwashed XL yarn because I have the large kit. I'll take you through all the rounds that make up part 11. Thank you for watching. I hope it's a useful video for you. I'm going to start in any shell corner. You've got here this shell with your four marked stitches. In this round we're going to start in the, um, the, the, the marked stitch, that space there, closest to the shell. We'll work the shell and then finish in the stitch after the shell. So this one we'll finish there. This is all we're going to be working on the one corner and then you repeat that on the other corners as well. I have contrast color 3 here. I'm going to attach that in this marked stitch. So chain one space, attach that with the slip stitch. You can now remove the stitch marker if you don't need it anymore. Chain one, start the round. We're going to move over. Oh, I've still got some threads here that I need to work away, but that's not a problem. We're going to work, I'm just going to open this up. We're going to work in the chain spaces of round 17, so they're, they're between those double trebles, there's those chain spaces there, chain ones, and the chain one space to the back from round 18, so we're going to be working through both the space from 17 and 18, so you're going to be covering basically, basically in between that gap there, that's where you're going to be working, and then covering both of those spaces. So you're going to be tucking them together on over and we go in this space work a um, two treble bobble so insert in there first leg yarn over and in that same space so you see I'm covering both of those spaces and take them off you'll notice that your your chain um, your slip stitch here will open up just pull your yarn tail back and that'll close it back up chain two and now we repeat another um, two treble bobble in the same space so one and two and take them off and then we want to pull it tight in the background you'll hear my hamster going uh, nuts Chain two. Repeat in the next chain space. In the next space, so actually over both of those chain spaces, I should say, a, treb a two treble bobble. Take them off. Chain two, and another two treble bobble. To take them off. There go. Chain two and moving to the next space. Again repeat two treble bobble one two take them off chain two one Two, take them off. Chain two, and then in your last space here, work again two treble bobbles with a chain two in between. It's so one again covering both of those loops. You're really going through and through. Chain two, one. 
to take them off. And there we go. Now only a chain one. Chain one. It's the same as on that side. They also only had the, the chain one there. And then close with a slip stitch in the first marked stitch after the shell. That's that stitch there. That first marked chain one space. You can remove the stitch marker, you don't need it anymore. And you can also cut your yarn. And oh, I really need to work away some yarn gels. I'm sometimes a bit lazy with this. That completes one corner, um, one, one corner flower row one. Um, need to repeat this on your other five corners also. So you're going to work five of these, more of these corners. Then we're going to work a second flower row, only in the corner, and then we start ready to start working long rounds again. So repeat this five more times on your other corners. Flower row two. Again, only going to working around the corner, and this you'll be doing on all six your corners. I have contrast color four on my hook with a slip knot. And this is also the last round in which you'll be using contrast color four. That applies to contrast color three as well as we used for the previous round. So if you're low on yarn you must from your kit that that's correct. You don't need them anymore for part for the last part. We're going to start in the marked stitch. In that stitch we're going to work a back post double crochet. So around the stitch so that stitch marker is just maybe just a little bit in the way but around that stitch work back post, double. Leave the stitch marker where it is. We're going to use it again later on, so just leave that. Chain one, and then get a bit more yarn. Then we're going to work a three treble bobble in the chain space, the chain two space from the previous flower round. We're going to be working chain three uh, or three bobbles three treble bobbles in each of these chain spaces, that's what I'm trying to say. So in that first one, this is of course the same as a as working three trebles together, but you're working them all in one space. Chain three, then in the next space, again, it's one, two, and take them off. Chain three. Going to have seven of these bobbles. It's one, two, three. Take them off. Chain three. And there we go. A bit more yarn. And here we go. One, two, three, take them off. One, two, three, chain, and again. One, two, three, take them off. One, two, three, and the last, oh no, not the last one, I've got one more. Space, that last space work at three treble bubble. Two, three, and take them off. So, so you've got all the way around, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those um, bubbles. Chain one, and then move over to the marked stitch. We're going to work a back post double crochet around that stitch. Around that stitch, work a back post double. You can cut your yarn and open up. This 
stitch marker we're going to move. So the, the first one we leave, the second one we're going to move one stitch forward. So moving it to the next double crochet. It was there, so move it up one stitch. And that completes the corner here. Repeat all of this on your other five corners also. And then we're ready to start again in the main color with long border rounds. Round 19 of the border. Main color yarn on my hook with a slip knot. And we're going to start on any flower the last um, bobble here, this last bobble. We're going to start there by making a standing front post double. So around that stitch from the front to the back out the other side. You kind of use this to tuck that flower petal together. A front post double and this is of course a standing stitch. That's our first stitch. Now I'm going to start the repeat unit on the straight edge. We're going to come to the marked stitch, that stitch there, and work three trebles in that stitch. So this is one, two, three trebles in that one stitch. Take out the stitch marker and move it. If I can get it out, actually, there we go. It's caught a little. And move it to the first of those three trebles. So in the first of those three trebles. In the next stitch, work a half treble. If you want to check if you're at the correct place, you should have three stitches left before you get to the chain space. So that's just a double check for you that you um that you're correct. If if you accidentally move this position this mark to the wrong position you might have less or more stitches here. So that's just a checkpoint. See so you've got three left and then you get the chain space. Chain four. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna rotate my work. Now we're going to skip six stitches and the chain space and come on this side, the equivalent stitch as that last half treble there. And then we're going to start a repeat unit which we'll do ten times. We're going to skip one, two, three stitches, the chain space. And then come down one, this is the half treble, that's one, that's so one, two, three, and then here number four the half double goes, the, sorry, the half treble goes in that. And just flip the chain to the back. This half treble is the start of a repeat unit. So that half treble is in the fourth stitch from the tip. In the next stitch we make two, two trebles in the next stitch. So one Two. Now over the next three stitches we're going to make a, a cluster. So in this stitch, in that stitch, and the third leg will be here in the chain space. There. And the cluster is the same as a treble three together. That's one, here the second two, and then the third leg is in that chain space. Three. You've got four loops on your hook, see where they're all at, and take them all off. I'm going to come to the other side and do the same here, so in reverse order of what we did there. So in the chain space, it's the first leg of it, the, the, the cluster, so that's one. Then go to the second position, it's two, and then come to the third position here. And that's three. Take them all off in one go. The next stitch, two trebles. We're just going to mirror what we've just done. So 
left two trebles and then here in the last stitch work a half treble. You can now see if I just pop this back how you're starting to fill out the gap between the triangles and that's actually what we're wanting to do. Chain four, two, three, four and then again skipping the same amount of stitches so that means one, two, three stitches the chain space and then one that first one is that half treble that's really a hard stitch to see that's one, two, three and then here in position number four you work the half treble pop that chain space to the back again and this half treble is exactly the same as that half treble there so all of this I've just done once with you do nine more times um, so filling out this um, this valley here if you do the repeat quite a few more times you'll end up um, yeah you'll end up here in this last triangle I'll see you at that last triangle and then we just need to do the flower as well so do this repeat nine more times and then I'll see you after that almost to the corner here's my flower corner on the last triangle, so I just need to repeat uh, or finish the last repeat. That's chain four, four, and then skipping um, the usual amount of stitches. I'm going to make a half treble on the other one, two, three. Skip the chain space and then one, two, three. And on this side of the corner, make the half treble. At this point you have one stitch left and then you have the marked stitch. In that last stitch going to work one treble, important here, only one treble. So don't go autopilot here and work two, only one treble. And then in the marked stitch work two trebles. And that's one. two trebles. The stitch marker you can remove. You don't need it anymore. For the corner, you've got the flower here. We're going to do around all those um, those seven uh, bobbles, going to work a front post double crochet. So around the first one, front post double, and they're going to do chain threes in between. Get to the next one and chain three. Then again a front post double and chain three. So you're going to have seven of these front post doubles. You're going to have six chain three spaces. And one. Three and I've got two left. That one, one, two, three, and then here's the last one. Ready? Again. And that last one with the front post double. And that is the corner right there so much a corner as this is a more of a full flower. And then we're ready to start the next repeat on the next straight edge. You've got the marked stitch and there work three trebles. One, two, let me just work one more. So this is three and we'll move the stitch marker to the first of those three trebles. You can see how this is exactly the same as the last, um, a start of the last repeat or the repeat we did last time. So in the next stitch, work half treble, then chain four, coming to the other side of the triangle, and start the small repeat where you're filling out all of these valleys, but all the way around. And when you come here, you'll work that last, you'll work that back post double, the chain three, and then close on the equivalent of this stitch here with a slip stitch that's a standing um, front post double. You're going to close on that 
and then you're ready for the next round. Leave your yarn attached because next round we'll be using the same color. Round 20 of the border. Currently in that standing double crochet stitch, or actually it's a front post double from the previous round. So I'm in there. I'm just going to slip stitch into the next stitch. This is the stitch with the marker. At this point you can remove the markers because this marker is to help you see where um where the straight edges start. Chain one, then this, this chain one does not count as a stitch. So in the same stitch, I'm going to work a double crochet. That's the first stitch of this straight edge. And then also on the next three. So those three stitches also work a double crochet on each of those. And three. Now I'm going to start a small repeat unit that we're going to do ten times. Let's start here in the chain space until the last stitch here, this um this half double there. In the chain space, start with four double crochets. So one, two, three, four double crochets. I'm going to skip the next stitch. That's this stitch here is actually a pretty hidden stitch, so it's a nice one to skip. And then go to the next, and there work a half treble. And then the next stitch work a half treble. On the next stitch, which is the first cluster stitch here, going to work a treble. So one treble on there. And in the next stitch, which is the second treble, you make two, sorry, the second cluster, you make two trebles. So the first cluster has one treble and the second cluster has two trebles to help you remember. Next stitch, the stitch here after the cluster, you get a treble and you have two stitches left before the next chain space and do a half treble on each of those. So one and two. Now this bit here, starting from that first double until this last half treble, do this nine more times. So in all of these spaces. And the next chain space is going to do four doubles. Skip the first stitch, then work a half treble, half treble, a treble, two trebles, treble and the last two stitches are half treble on each. So repeat this stretch here nine more times. I'll see you at the end of that last repeat just for the last two stitches and also how to go around the corner. I've done the repeat ten times and I'm now almost to the corner. That's this flower edge here. That's the corner. So I have one chain four loop left. In this chain four loop going to work four double crochets. So that's one, two, three, and four. You have four stitches before we get to the corner. And those four stitches work a double crochet on each of those. And especially this first one here can be a little hard to get into that half double or that half treble there. That's one, two, three, four double crochets. We're now going to work the corner. So this completes the straight edge. So for the corner, chain four, two, three, four. And now we're going to come down and around these um, these two treble clusters. For me, it's in the green here. This is from flower row one. Going to work a back post double crochet around those with a chain one in between. So that means that is that stitch there. 
but from the back of, of working on the front this is rather can be a bit tricky so if you turn your back you work um you flip it over to have the back facing you it's actually going to be much easier because that is then your first stitch here's the second there's the third the fourth and so on just a note about the first stitch this isn't your first stitch you want to go around the flower petal so that's this side I've done the chain four, and that's to bring me down to this level. And then around that first flower petal, work a back post double. Well, it looks like a back, um, a front post double from this side. If you look at it from the front, you see, okay, there's the, there's the stitch I just made. So make sure you go around the flower petal like this, and not around it, like. I just open this up because it's very easy to kind of work through here but that you don't want you want to work through there so that's the first one chain one move on to the next flower petal again back post double chain one the next back post double Yes, again the next back post double chain one. So you've got chain ones in between. Chain one. Let me just go, oh, pull this blanket a bit up. And let me see. I have yes, I've just done a chain one. So there, I've got another back post stitch to do. Chain one. Look from the front, see how far I am. Still need to do two more petals, those I've already done. And then this one here. Okay, I've got a few loops too many. Chain one, and then the last one. And again, here important, don't go like this. I'm going to work it like this and I'll show you that what you don't want. You see where it's now? You see how it's up there? You don't want it up there. You see, you want it over here. So this is a mistake that's easy to make on this side and on that side. I'm just going to take this out. And if you look here, you want to go around the flower petal. And just work that double crochet there. Chain four, two, three, four, and this is to bring you back up because you've you had to go down, then work this around, and now you need to come back up. And after the chain four, we're going to start in the marked stitch. That's why we mark this stitch. We know exactly where it is. And in that stitch, work a double. Now you can remove this marker. You don't need it anymore. And on the next three stitches, also work a double. These four stitches are exactly the same as the four stitches we started with. That means here you're now going to work four doubles and then start and then do the rest of this repeat. Go all the way around. When you get to your first stitch, that's going to be this this double crochet, the equivalent of this stitch. Close on that stitch with a slip stitch, and not a chain one that that we made, but actually the the full uh, double crochet. Then you can also cut your yarn because we're using this, the main color still for the next round, but we'll join in a different place so you can cut your yarn. Round 21 of the border. If you have the main color on my hook, and you cut your yarn in the last round even though we're using the same color because we're going to start in a different position. This is still flower petal and we're going to go to the third 
chain loop here. So there's one, two, three. In there, to start with a standing double crochet, we're going to work all of the stitches in this flower, by the way, we're going to work over both of those chain loops. So over both of them, start with a double crochet. Then a half treble, again, around both. I'm just going to move things up a bit because I need another treble in here. And then a treble. This is half of your corner. Chain one, and that chain one is your new corner. And mark this chain one with a stitch marker so that you can easily find it on the next round. So mark your chain one. Now it won't surprise you that in the next space, working around both of those loops, work a treble, a half treble and finish with a double crochet. That's your new corner made. You see there? Your new corner. For the straight edge, in the... I've got... oh this is a bit of fluff here. In the next space work three double crochets. It's one, two, three double crochets and in the next space also work three double crochets around both of those loops so you're really tying everything together and that really helps these flower petals to be really pronounced. We're going to finish this part by working a treble and we're going to make this treble Around, um, around this space here. Let me show you what I mean. So around, so you've got the chain one space here. So we're not going to work in that chain one space from the flower, but actually around the entire thing. So in the chain one space and the stitches of round, I believe this is round 19, so around both of them, and then work a treble. So that way you're kind of tucking away that little loop and making a nice, um, just filling up this gap. We're going to continue and work the first six stitches along this edge. And this first stitch here now kind of falls a little bit to the back. So there, that is the first stitch. See how it's kind of being um, almost worked away here by the treble we just made. So make sure to get into that first stitch properly. That's the first of six double crochets. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and the last one, six. Chain one, and then skip the next stitch which is going to be that one. If you want to double check if you work, um, if you start, especially if you started in the correct stitch, your second um, double crochet here, you've got four double crochets in the chain four loop. That second double crochet is where we finished with that last double there. If you just want to check if you're still on track. If you're in the third one here, you accidentally skip that first stitch. We're going to work a repeat unit that's going to be, which we'll do 10 times, 11 times, not sure. Um, no, 10 times. We're going to work 10 times and that will be 11 double crochets, chain one, skip a stitch. Now remember, we just, we're just skipping a stitch, then go to the next, and then work a double crochet. That's the first of 11. So that's one, two, three, four, eleven, eleven double crochets 
and again number 11 has fallen in the second of the four double crochets you have in that chain loop there. Chain one, skip the next stitch, and the stitch after work the first double of again twelve, uh, 11 double crochets. So this bit we're going to repeat nine more times. So work 11 doubles, chain one, skip a stitch. Work that nine more times, then I'll see you at the last part of this round for the corner. Just done another 11 double crochets. I still need a chain one. Then skip the next stitch. It's this one. And then there are five stitches left here on this edge. I'm going to work um, a double crochet on each of those. So I so skip that one and then here that's one. Two, three, four, five double crochets. I'm going to work a treble, and that's again to cover this entire stitch here. So in that chain space, covering the stitches from um, yeah, that I've got in the main color here, because I'm covering everything, work a treble. We move to the chain space, chain three space and work three double crochets. Three and then next chain space again three doubles and we're again going to cover both of those spaces. So one, two, three, and now we're going to work on your corner. So that means here one, no, no, one, one double, then a half treble, and then a treble. Chain one, place, place the stitch marker here, that's your new corner, and then come down the other side, so that's a treble, half treble, and double. And then this is your new corner. This corner is of course exactly the same as the corner we made on, on the start of this round. So that means we're going to do everything again we just did. So chain in this chain space three doubles and the next chain three doubles. Then um, that stitch across there on the other side and then all of these repeats everything. All the way around you're going to close on your first stitch with a slip stitch and then you can actually cut your yarn because we're using a new color for the next round in um, which will be in part 12 actually and when you're all done this is what your work looks like we've made this beautiful flower corner on each of our corners and we've filled up the edges in between the triangles that's where we are at the moment we'll see you back next week for the last part already of Ubuntu. Hope to see you then.